All right. Y'all already know what time it is. It's nine ish o'clock. Uh, you say nine ish. It's nine ish. Okay, so. Nine thirty, 30 ish. In, in, <laughs> to grandmas and all the kids, take y'all punk ass to bed. Uh oh. Uh, you are watching Gert right here on Podcasting. This is what we do every Tuesday night at 930. We will be broadcasting at 930 because it's time for We got to get our shit together. So uh, <laughs> if we don't get nothing in this. I mean, no drinking, nothing. We just got to prep and get everything together. Gotcha. So, yeah. I am in. <laughs> my name is Miles Dixon. And to the left of me is the one and only the big homie that we call Mr. Key. Nigga got his win tonight. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red zone, baby. Gang, gang, bitch. Bam. <laughs> Okay, okay, bang, bang. Um, and, and 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 I gotta give him his proper due because he had to get introduced properly mm. for the man who eat food from all over the world, <laughs> whether it's Ethiopian, Australian, kangaroo pouch puss. Kangaroo <laughs> <laughs> pouch puss. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I need that, bro. Okay, oh. I'm sorry. Got, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, damn, damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Kangaroo okay. pouch puss. Um, no, uh, to, to the one who the one he keep us on all he keep us on our p's and q's. Make sure that we healthy uh, and think properly and smack girls on their asses any chance that we get. No, no, that's you, no, no. 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 Okay, um, the church play crowd. <laughs> 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 you know, like, 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 um, and, and we got some special guests in the building today. Uh, uh, they do a podcast over a podcast or two, and on podcast called Straight Shooting. Uh, we got Mr. Jim Animal himself, Mr. John Q. What up, what up, what up? What up? So, Dayton. Right. What? And, and to the light skinned guy down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dude, I get sick of niggas talking about our skin complexion. They, they, they mad though because my skin coming back. I'm glad I'm in the middle of a little. We take it for now. If light skin come back, so is uh, 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 undone <laughs> grilled cheese. Well, nigga, you better uh, get to eating them motherfucking raw ass chicken and I mean cheese and bread. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, bread and cheese. He go by the he go by the name <laughs> of Dre. He's a fashion designer. What's the name of your brand, bro? It is Dressan Fashion. Dressan. Dr- dr- what? Dressan. I'm going to need to take speech therapy to say that. <laughs> he said Dressan. Dressan. That's not like a croissant. <laughs> yeah, the croissant, nigga. That, put a D in front of croissant. Dressan. Dressan. <laughs> and, to, and, and to the one behind the ones and twos to bring us to you, the one and only, uh, he my little bro, Joe. <laughs> Um, um, we got Q, bro. What's your, what's your name again, brother? It's just me. Chino. Chino yeah. Escapino. He back there like, I see you fuckers nah, want to eat the drink. That's the Navy cameraman Bean. for the straight shooting podcast. That's, That's Navy Bean back there. Na- Na- Navy Bean. Navy Bean. Yeah. <laughs> Navy Bean. <laughs> 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 I'm <parking> beans. <laughs> <laughs> so today we, we're going to talk about. Do you still eat pork and beans? Uh, yeah, I mean, I still eat beans. Beans <laughs> with bacon. Oh, wait a minute. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you eat pork and beans? Yeah. Like yeah. real life pork and beans. Pork beans. He said pork and beans. He said pork and beans. He said I pork and beans that bullshit. Why does <laughs> one they put they put a fat piece of pork in a can? My nigga, I'm straight on that. Porky beans. That shit remind me and shit of uh, my man and shit that was in that movie and shit that um, sit up there and zip my, his dick up. Porky beans. Something about Mary. Something about Mary. Something about Mary. Yeah, something about Mary. Um, but, 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 man, don't act like y'all niggas ain't never had hot dogs and pork. Before y'all can start, I got a quick story. Got quick story about pork and beans and shit. <laughs> like, like one day, man, my boy and shit, we go on the east side. My bad, Q, but uh, <laughs> we was on the east, we east side, bitch. <laughs> We on the east side and shit. We go on Charmers in 94 and shit. Damn. We over these bitches out. East side, east side. Number roaches all in this bitch. So we over Damn. there and shit. We trying to escape anyway. <laughs> So we leave. The bitches call us back and shit. Like, my mom left. She going to work. Y'all come back. Whatever this and that. So we come back over there. 
So it's a, it's a chick for every motherfucking nigga that's there. It's about four or five of us. I don't know if you was with us, Q or not. But uh, maybe a roach for every nigga. So 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 we in the motherfucker. <laughs> this bitch the cooking fuck? pork and beans and hot dogs and shit. Uh, right? I'm in the kitchen. With the I'm, trying, I'm trying to get on. She cooking pork and beans, hot dogs. A roach was in the motherfucker pork and beans, hot it dogs. It was in there. In there. It was in that this bitch took stroke. the spoon, scooped the roach out, kept threw that motherfucker away, and kept star stuff that shit. Oh, I'm like, no, nope, I'm out. This bitch, hey, I'm like y'all can still fuck these nasty bros if y'all want to. I'm out. Oh, that's her, that's her life. <laughs> that yeah. She didn't she didn't flick 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 that roach was like that. That roach was backstroking <laughs> into some hot ass boiling water. <laughs> like dig this here. Hey, but look though, the crazy thing about that, somebody hitting the shit out that little pussy. Somebody did it. So. Did the killing part, part dog. Yeah. The killing yeah. part is look, look. She never gave me no pussy, right? You probably should be my, glad. Look, look though, but yeah, people she right. did. I was glad, but people right. she did. So she tell my boy who had us go over there because who was fucking with her home girl. She tells them that we fuck. I never met a bitch lie on her pussy. Niggas yeah. lie on their dick all day long. I never met a bitch who lie on her I never, no, yeah. I swear to God, that's the first time I Dre. ever oh. had a bitch lie on her pussy. Dre, women lie on their pussy all, all the time. time. <laughs> they all lie and say they fucking ain't did shit. No, she she, 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 she damn wow. sure did, though. So, so today's that's topic, y'all, we're going to talk about... What can, what do you do to strengthen relationships? What, what a perfect way to segue that in. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> way to strengthen your relationship without roaches. That's right. <laughs> no, what do you do to strengthen your relationship? Whether whether it be your um your soulmate um or family member, um be, because now I'm about to hit fifty, so I'm like this. I, I'm getting more grumpier and grumpier every motherfucking day. I find out, you know what I mean? Damn, it's sad. It's really <laughs> sad. I, I was in the soup line today, and I'm like, "Damn, I was there. Hurry up!" And I was the second person. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, this thing, no patience. No patience. Right, oh, no patience. Get ready to get there. Hey, look, I feel like Jason, no, Jay Z. No, I, no patience, and I hate waiting. Duh. So, so at, at this point, I'm just wondering. Like, I know it's gonna be a lot of people I may offend as I go. You know, as I get older, and. Um, um, and I and I grow. Um, however, I have to really learn how not to be that way. So um, we are we all grown men have a grown conversation as usual. And I'm, I want to start from down there, Don, because he's stuffing his face. It's gonna be funny for him to try to hurry up and finish the eating before. Speaking him. of which, Medina <laughs> said she want to bite your shit, bro. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm guessing she's talking about the food. I don't yeah, know. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen them pics now. She been <laughs> Listen, um, I, think, I think that one of the biggest things that anybody can do to strengthen uh, your relationship is never stop learning how to improve communication. Oh, damn. Good answer. All right. It's yeah. a lot of motherfuckers. Listen, we, we grew up, a lot of us, we grew up in two different households. We we grew up with two different mindsets. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that we can make when we involve with somebody, whether it be your wife, your partner, whoever the fuck you're fucking with, is to make an assumption that they understand things from the same aspect or point of view that you do. Right. Don't do that. Right. And guess what? And it's okay when somebody don't understand something the way you do. Right. We got to we gotta learn to... <clears throat> I was... I guess the biggest thing that I learned last year was uh, it's more important to be kind than to be right. Mm. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like For a lot sure, of motherfuckers man. in relationships be arguing and fighting just to be right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck being right. Nah, be I mean, kind. Yeah. We'll figure out the right shit afterwards because yeah. sometimes that's in the true. midst of trying to be right, you've been in fucked around and lost somebody that's really good to you simply right. because you're trying to be fucking right. right. Mm -hmm. Duh, yeah. For sure. That's good I shit. had, this, I had yeah. to shut the fuck up sometimes on trying to be right. And I had to learn that lesson. I'm just being honest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, yeah. and for me, it feels good now at times where I can catch myself and I'm, I'm like, yo, you know what? It ain't about being right in this moment. It's about being kind. Because again, sure. you know, I don't know uh, what this person has experienced in life. I don't know how they understanding it. But if I be kind, 
you know, that's like the gateway to 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 really just connecting with somebody. Yeah, it ain't right, always sure. about being fucking right. Yeah, for sure. Right. And, for sure. and you know what? That's not even that's not even just romantic relationships. That's just regular relationships. Like I I had an instance today. Like that that just kind of uh, I want to piggyback off of that. I was talking about um, what was I talking? Oh, I was talking about not having a TV in the living room, right? Because I was saying like I got a bookshelf. And like a couple of chairs and shit, and like that's where I do reading and shit. You know what I'm saying in the in the living room. And then I just made the statement. I was like, uh, I was like, plus rich people don't be having TVs in their living room. Like they got they theater room or they TV be somewhere else and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So the motherfucker I'm talking to, like, well, that ain't that ain't really how it is and shit. Like yeah, it's just up to preference and shit, right? So I'm like, dog, at what point did you have to be right to make a motherfucking point? Like let me let me live my little my little dream and shit. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't shoot down my little space. aspirations. You know what I'm right, saying? Like right. But people are like that, though. It's like sometimes you got to figure out what's more important, nigga, to get your point across and shit, or or to just let motherfuckers live. I be letting niggas live. Because sometimes you just got to let niggas live. You yeah. know what I'm I think it comes to, um, it is communication, but it's also listening. Mm-hmm. Right. We, we tend to, if you have a disagreement with somebody, we, we, we don't listen to the other person. Mm-hmm. The next thing we're trying to do is get our point across. You listen right. to... to for them to shut up so you can say what you gotta say. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really take in what they're trying to say. And right. I think it goes both ways. And all type of relationships, like yeah, you said, sure. not just um romantic uh, relationships. Romantic it relationships. Like it could be friends, it could be business. Business relationships, stuff like that. Your mama. So yeah, yeah. Duh. Anything. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. it's, For sure, it's need we need to more we need to listen more. We right. need to actively listen. Yeah, and we mm-hmm. need to take other people into account what they're trying to say yeah. mm-hmm. as opposed to always trying to prove a point. You may even be right in the, the yeah. conversation, yeah. but sometimes you just got to listen to what they're saying and, you know, chalk it up sometimes. So, yeah. so, so Dre, what, what, what do you do to strengthen your relationships? Basically, so, so what I do, I mean, me and my wife, I take for instance, like, we, we have arguments or whatever and this and that, and, I, and more before I would just, I would have to Try to prove my point to 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 get her to be like okay no nah, this is not what you talking about some bullshit this is what I'm saying right but now I, uh, it's more so now I would say okay you're right sometimes I just agree with the shit just for the sake of arguing. not arguing right you know even though it may be I may feel in my heart like you still on some bullshit right but right. it's still to to avoid the arguing so. I would just sometimes, or I'll give an input. I'll, I'll listen to what she had to say. I'll come back later and make a statement like, "Okay, you know, look, this could have been presented this type of way, and I would have, I would have took it in a different type of way." Well, mm-hmm. you know what? I, in, in a relationship, I wouldn't even like that approach to me, right? Bringing it back up. Because one thing I learned about women, they hate when you bring back up shit, especially yeah, if they are right fault. Though. They yeah. do it. Yeah, you know I mean, but, but they do it all day. But they they do, do it all day. But, but, but one thing about about a man though, that's 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 the that's the one anchor point we have as men. Mm-hmm. We that's why I, in one show I think I said we actually compromise more than women. You know what I mean? Because some shit we just don't want to deal with. Right. And some shit we, you know, the, the the truth of the fact is the happy, 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 happy wife, happy life type shit, right? But then again, it's like um, happy. It ain't no happy husband or happy man shit. It's just like right. a man just have to deal with, it. and that's one anchor that we have in relationships. That it's sad to say, but we have to bear that on our shoulders a lot of time on compromising. Right. So because the, especially if we have children involved, you know what I mean? Because one thing. Children hate to see mommy and daddy arguing, or mm-hmm. their, or their mother, boyfriend, or whatever arguing yeah, whatever because it can always go bad. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, yeah. and, and, it, and it always can go bad if they got teenage children. Right. Especially if a boy feel like you're disrespecting his mother, and she mm-hmm. might have even started it. Yep. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So. Most of the time. M- most of the time. <laughs> right. Most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> no women the bad shit, but y'all be going some bullshit. Wait, wait a minute though. Are, are, are we are we fucking saying that we gonna just straight up uh Bullshit to keep the peace? Is no, that what we said? No, what the that's just no. I, 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 I got one for you down wow. here. What no, the fuck? No, 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 no,
Yeah, I'll take it. I'll fight the bullet. Just because I'm not trying to motherfucking be arguing with you for an hour over Some who the fuck put this on the table. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I whatever. I just, so, I, I'll be like this. I got it. Hey, <laughs> God, so he let none of this no, shit no, go. Man, man, so man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen. We teach people how to treat us. True. Mm -hmm. All right. And all I'm all I'm saying is this. <clears throat> to me, them same kids that we don't want to see arguing sometimes. Yeah. We also showing them little girls. Hey, you know it's okay to be coming with this stupid ass shit. No. All yeah. right. And then we That's also teaching saying. them little boys. Hey, well, you know, sometimes, you know, I don't want to stir tail. the pot. Man, fuck all of that. I'm not tucking shit. <laughs> and maybe that's why I ain't married just yet, but I'm not tucking shit. I'm just being straight the fuck up. I'm, listen to me. Yeah. We have too many instances where, and Miles, you said it. We, we talked about this on the show. Yeah. As men, we compromise a lot. Yeah. And, 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 and this is why I said... A lot of women have to learn how to speak to men, you know what I'm saying, in a more general way. Just be, I fuck that. the excuse of, I, 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 you, you a man, you supposed to, no, supposed to my ass. Just because I'm a man does not give you the green light to put your hands on me and talk to me any kind of way. And the moment that I say something about it, it, it somehow uh, brings down my level of, of manhood. Man, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not no sensitive motherfucker, but you're not about to talk to me any motherfucker right. kind of way. For sure. and, and I'm not no soft motherfucker, but you're not going to put your hands on me. Yeah. And I'm saying that some of us, we have learned that. That's some conditioned thinking. Yeah. We're not doing that. I'm, I'm not doing that. But no let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. How long have you ever been... Like you say, you never been more married. Yeah. How long have you lived with a, in a relationship with somebody? I, be, I was in a long term relationship with somebody for ten years. Did y'all live together? Though? We live with each other. Okay. So, so my reason I bring that up is because I've been married twice. This is my second marriage. Yeah. My first marriage, it was nothing but chaos, nothing but arguing. All that shit. I wasn't fighting because I'm not about to put my hands on no woman. She tried this shit, but I had to put her in her place one time to show her not the motherfucker yeah, do that. No that the same you what know what is. I'm saying? But I see now my kids now where with the shit that took some effect over them. So like my son, my youngest son that I have with my ex-wife, he has anger issues. Mm -hmm. But that's that's because of shit he probably saw me and his wife do. I mean, mm -hmm. me and his mother do. Right. So now, like, the, don't get me wrong, my wife now, she know I'm not buying that shit. Yeah. Don't, don't, you're not about to disrespect me. You're not about to be talking to me sideways. That's one thing she know. Mm -hmm. She already know. The issue is, she, we, we, it's something that come up and she don't know how to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. She keeps going and going. Gotcha. And, and my thing is, I don't like that shit. I'm, I'm the type of <laughs> motherfucker, let me fucking be. You know what I'm saying? Because if I keep going back and forth with you, you'll raise my anger level. Mm -hmm. right. And now it's going to be pissed. a situation. And then it's some shit, you know what and I'm then, saying? And then like and I'm, I'm not trying mad, to deal with turn red. So, <laughs> turn red. So, so my best bet is to, <laughs> but it's not that I say you so won. I get it. So, so, I'm so going to ignore what the fuck you talking about and walk away. I, I mm -hmm. think, I think, so again, I think it was a better way to phrase that then. That's, that right there is handling the situation. That you're saying, hey, listen, I'm not about to prolong this motherfucking conversation. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and let you deal with it on your own. That's right, what right, essentially right, you're doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I, I want to just make it clear: we not just being quiet no, and no, taking no, shit. No, like, no, shit like that. Yeah, because listen, a, a lot of women don't understand. At what point is that not verbal abuse? Right. You're right. It, it, is, it, it is. is. It's abusive. Real talk. I, and that's, that's something we don't talk about. Can I just say something that's funny? Yes. I looked up on the screen, right? Y'all saw, all saw Planet of the Apes, right? Oh, don't shit. I look like Caesar when I... <laughs> don't and, goofy That's you. Look like Caesar. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I want to ask... I want to ask... Say Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> Food. Um, that's a good-ass <laughs> movie. Y'all fuck with it. It was a great movie. It was. I want to... I, I want to ask you, uh, Q, John Q, um, how 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 do you strengthen relationships? I take one. I, I, I let me take a page out and shit my brother book. Just bite that, the burger. Yeah. Okay. That's what he's saying. Just, just, just bite, bite the burger. burger. But <laughs> just bite the burger. You know what I'm saying? But on on a on a serious note, one way that I strengthen my relationship with my wife is to be relatable. Meaning this. 
we all have experienced a lot of different traumas in our lives, right? So we kind of like take the time to examine their trauma along with the trauma and shit that you have. Maybe mm-hmm. you can go ahead and shit, you know what I'm saying, and work that shit out. Meaning and shit, hey, let's talk about this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's examine, you know what I'm saying, say your childhood right. before you even met me. Why don't you, you know what I'm saying? That's always done, always you know, fucking examine up. Examine the shit from my childhood. <laughs> and let's come up with, you know what I'm saying, an actual a game plan right. together. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To see how, hey, how can I go ahead, you know what I'm saying, and be a help to you? How can, you know what I'm saying, you be a help to me mm-hmm. throughout this trauma and actually, you know what I'm saying, begin to heal? You know right. what I'm saying? So yeah. when it comes to, like, you know, just strengthening and stuff like that, I, I believe that is really a true essence of, you know, becoming, you know, like one as a as a as a couple. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. if somebody is sharing their deepest and their darkest, you know what I'm saying, with you, you don't want to shy away from that because then a lot right. of people and shit, you know what I'm saying, to sit up there and be like, well, I, I explained this to this person and they couldn't listen to me and I don't trust them with this and that and other and shit. You don't want to go bragging about what the fuck somebody else then went through and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. You want to actually and shit, you know what I'm saying, just just take it in and kind of like apply it to how would you handle some shit. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. like, for example, you know, I grew up in shit in some domestic violence shit with my, with my, you know, with my parents and stuff mm-hmm. like that or whatever. Love both of my parents, this, that, another, and shit. But I had some trauma behind that. Yeah. So, by me explaining that to my wife, mm-hmm. she kind of actually understands me a little bit more right. than me putting on, you know, we all have this, 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 uh, you know, that, 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 that fake ass face. That facade, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To where when you meet somebody, you meeting this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your representative, sure. but not the actual person. So when you start getting involved with somebody that you actually love, you want to see them win. You yeah. want to see their ass and shit, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> stronger than they was, you know, by dealing with you. Even if they leave you, mm-hmm. you want to see their ass and shit win yeah. if you really care about them. Right. right. So in order to do that, you got to actually, you know what I'm saying, take on some of their fucking trauma and understand that trauma and work through it and shit with them mm-hmm. as long as they can do that with you. And yeah. I think that's, that's, that's like, major. You know? I, an important thing about that, though, is, like, you want to be able to do that, but also you got to be, you got to know that you prepare for that. Like, yeah. if you not prepare for that and you not trying to stick it out through that shit, then don't even start. Yeah. Like, for right. real. Uh, like, that's, sometimes that's you get invested in somebody's trauma and, like, and you can really help them out, but then you start getting scared. Like, if this ain't for you, get the fuck off yeah, for real. Because, right, right. like, sometimes you can do more hurt than, 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 than yeah, good. You're not ready. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, so, that's, that's, that's I, 100. I definitely, but that's like, some real shit, though. That's definitely. Like, with, with me, how I'm not going to lie, I'm just now getting into the strengthening part of relationships because I used to go by, this is me, you know how I am. That's it. That's it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Um, but now I have to... I, I'm a great listener, so I always had to open an ear. However, I just didn't... I didn't give a fuck how people perceive me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so as I got older, I had to realize that sometimes I, I just can't be as blunt as I, as I was. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can't say, oh, your shit sucks or that's terrible. <laughs> Let me do it. Mm-hmm. I had to say, if you like it, you know, that's fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you want to, if you want me to do it, I will do it differently mm-hmm. and just tell me what you think. You know, at first mm-hmm. I used to be like, man, that shit garbage. Let me do that shit right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, or if, in a, if I was in a relationship, I'd be like, look, this is what I do. I don't do date night like that because my business is basically is how I eat. How I, whenever I kill, that's how we eat. You know what I mean? Right. Um, if you want me to help out around the house and shit like that, then I have to work. I don't have a nine to five, so I don't have a guarantee X amount of dollars come if I work a certain amount of hours. Hell, I might work one week for five hours and make four thousand, but shit, I might work another two weeks for forty hours and only make five hundred. Right. Yeah. right. You know what I mean? So. It, it's just basically I learned how I'm learning how to plan my life out better. That's why even tomorrow with me and Don connect about a regimen, a food regimen, stuff like that. I'm, I'm really I'm on the second part of my life. Yeah. So I know I got more. I got less years ahead of me than I have. You know, I, mean, I lived out the majority of my life right now. 
in between the cases. But then that kind of go on what I was just saying. You need a woman and shit. You know what I'm saying? If you got a woman in your life and shit, that's relatable to right. your actual experience right. or yeah. really what you're going through. Mm-hmm. And then and shit to kind of like strengthen you when you really need that strength. Right. You need that backbone. Yeah, fucking need that shit. What, what society and shit is telling you. I'm telling you what the fucking shit I need. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like right, right now and shit. Hey, I need a diet plan. I need to work out. I need to do this, that, and other. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be relatable to that shit. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You live with me. You know me and shit. So do that shit. Fuck what everybody else is saying. Right. right. Especially you know? if you put it in and they not. That'd be the fucking worst. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the fucking worst. We, we got some hey, people. Dollar, you got something to say. <laughs> Oh, no, we have, we have some people. Latina Lyle says one way to strengthen a relationship is to be a, the ability to have open communication with your partner. Very true. Yeah. The ability to have tough conversations with your mate. The ability to not bring up tough topics only during arguments, but maybe in the in the tub while you're washing their back. That's the, <laughs> that's what some of that was basically what you were saying, with Dre, about um. Yeah, um, being able to talk. Don't do that yeah. shit like so yeah. It's, yeah, so it's more so like I, I've I've come to see now, but because I've had a habit of doing that shit before, I walk away, and I'm not trying to go back to it because I don't want to argue. Right. But at some point, you got to go back to it because in a woman's mind, she's not gonna let that shit go at mm-hmm. all. You might be like, "Fuck this." Two minutes after it's done. Yeah. But she ain't letting that shit yeah. go. Facts. You know what I'm saying? She gonna hold on to that shit until she feel that y'all done came to resolve on it. Right. Mm-hmm. So so anybody want to call in, don't forget to give us a call at 313-855-5737. 313-855-5737. If you want to tune in anything that Don, Dre, Q, or uh, John Q, or Q, or myself has been speaking about, please feel free to give us a call. You are watching Girth right here on podcast. I think that, um, yeah, I think it's important, and 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 I think all a lot of us are saying the same thing, just saying it differently. Believe right. it or not, but um, <clears throat> I also think no, you be, you was like fuck that. <laughs> we ain't saying yeah, I, 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 I got a little passion. I also think it's important. Like I said, I, and I, here's the deal: the place where I'm coming from with that is, as men, we need to live our truth, but along with living our truth. We also need to con- consistently uh, strive towards learning how to be a better man. True. Because a lot of us didn't just have fucked up ass examples. Right. <clears throat> Facts. Yeah. You know, I talked true. about this before. Like Facts. When my when 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 my children were born, all the dudes around me was like, "Bro, yo, your life about to be fucked up." Mm-hmm. Nobody celebrated with me. Nobody was right. like, God, I'm happy for you. Right. And I didn't think about that, you know, until my children were in high school one day, and I'm sitting around. I did. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, not too, dudes in the hood, dudes I grew up with. Nobody said that to me. It was basically the message was just, even some adults. It was just negative. negative yeah. A lot of adults was hitting me with, how you gonna afford that kid? Yeah, yeah. all the negative now shit. You got, yeah. yeah. And so I just, I just say all that to say that I think now living our truth is so uh, important because. You got some of these motherfuckers, and even some females. Uh, shout out to the females who don't do this shit. But at the end of the day, just because a man expresses himself and lives his truth, again, does not mean that he's a weak man. True. It don't mean that I'm no bitchy man. Right. It means that for too long, a lot of us, we be too quiet about a lot of shit. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I, and I just feel like so many women talk about, well, I, um, I follow your lead if I know your plan. <clears throat> well, for a lot of us... Uh, we we not really expre- expressing what the plan is because we always getting that pushback. Right, right. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And here's the deal: uh, with in leadership and in the household, mm-hmm. um, I believe that uh, for women, you have to be allow you you have to allow and give your man room to fail at times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't put him on this fucking. Pedestal where he got to be perfect at all fucking times, and that's the shit that I don't like. You know, I feel like a lot. I feel like a lot of women sometimes put men on on this on this tip where it's just like all your decisions got to be sound, everything that you do got to be no fuck that. I'm I'm learning and 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 going through life just like your ass is. And what make you better than me? I should be able to take my bumps and bruises, and you still look at me like a man. 
The same way I look at you like a woman when you take your fucking bumps and bruises. Right. And exactly. that's all I'm getting at. Yeah. Message. Nah, for sure. Nah, that's, that's real shit that, right there. Message, and, and that's That go back to something we talked about on our, <clears throat> on our show a little earlier. It's a generational thing. So you got women pushing a certain mindset on women and to think that because of stuff they've been through with their mates, their kids' fathers, their husbands. So their mind is like, okay, niggas ain't shit. I'm feeding this to my daughter. Make sure you take on the same. Make sure you cover your ass on these niggas. This is how you go into this relationship with these niggas. So now in our generation, when we get the women we got, we get they they're not prepared for to understand a man is gonna have ups and downs. Right. They think you're supposed to be up all the time. Damn, yeah. And and when you you could be up for a minute, <clears throat> but when you hit that down period, if you hit that down period. It's they think you've lost your man, oh, right? Man. And they, and they think you yes, know, you yes. know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yes, now yes. they think you they can do this. They can talk to you any type of way. Mm. You can do this instead of trying to build me back up to this point. Right. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something, and this may not be a popular opinion with black women. Black women says that you know they're the most unprotected and they're the most people people against them the most. They yeah. were at one point. Mm. Not no more. It's us. Mm, yeah. And I say that because if you look at black men, black women now is getting opportunities where black men are not getting. Mm. They're getting they're getting the opportunities to where businesses, you get a black CEO women, this and that. Black men are still well, not getting to that. Well point. right now it, it, to be black and a woman they say you're a double minority. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's but that's crazy. my point. But that's crazy. But that's my point. It's <laughs> not it's not I think it's transitioning. Yeah. I don't think women are getting it. It's still bad for black women. Don't get me wrong. I'm no, not, I'm not right. trying yeah, not to say it's not. That, yeah. So please, black women, don't call in or <laughs> mess <laughs> right. trying to dog me out. So that's look. not what I'm saying. So look, like, But what I'm saying oh, is it's, oh, it's a recurring thing with us. We Black men has dealt with this over and over. So now we don't get the support from you as a black woman. We have to deal with bullshit from our job. We have to deal with bullshit from the streets. We had to deal with bullshit from society. Yeah. And then we had to turn around and come back home and deal with bullshit from our woman as well. That's you know, and so then, black men, we, don't we get supposed to, say to be strong. No, and then don't, don't get to say don't shit. Get to say or you a weak ass motherfucker. Exactly. Like the fuck we got to take now, all this shit on and it build up. Exactly. So, so now look at this. I just want to go ahead and just give women a little insight. And just know this. Without your degrees... Right. If you're not a nurturing woman without a degree, if you're not out there and shit can can chop down a fucking tree, can work on a fucking car, or anything and shit when it comes to manual fucking work, just know that when you shit on a black man and you shit on your protection, then you leave yourself vulnerable as hell. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> so when I say that is this. Just like in shit what Dre was saying, you know, we, we, we have to deal with so much shit outside and we got to come home and deal with that shit in the inside. Just know this, that as soon as the shit, you know what I'm saying, the other society, say the, the, the society and shit and everybody else and shit tell you that you're not vi valuable, mm. we know that you're valuable. We do. Right. But don't shit on your protection. Right. All day. So, right. so when you do that, just know it's open you season. It, it's it's open season on you. Mm -hmm. So, it's strength in relationships with your own. That's for one. Everybody knows that shit, but our own. You know what I'm saying? Right. But our own people. But I just want to, you know, I, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and just drop that little jewel for a lot of. A lot of our own women and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I do have a strong black woman and shit in my corner. And I love my wife. You know what I'm saying? And she loves me. And I know and shit. You know what I'm saying? I wish that, like, every black man deserves... Every black man, every good black man right. deserves... <laughs> 
a good black woman. Yeah, yeah. definitely. For sure. Even if they ain't black or white, but every good man yeah. deserves a good woman. Yeah, they, yeah. they do. You know what I'm saying? I, I, every good woman deserves a, a good, good man. man. My, my, but know I, and the I difference. Agree with you you know what I'm saying? Because Just know the difference. My wife, and I have, don't a, cut I know yourself I have off. a good wife. You know, you know? I, I know we have disagreements at times and this and that, but I know ultimately when it boils down to it, yeah. I got a good wife. Right. Yeah. So... It's 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 a it's a complex situation, man, because we 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 always butt heads because we don't try to it goes back to what I said earlier. We don't listen to one another. So we we continuously collide. And then when you're in a relationship, if you're in a serious relationship, whether you're married or you're just in a um platonic relationship where y'all just living together, whatever the case may be, you 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 have to give a little of yourself each person. Yeah. Meaning everybody say I'm like how Doc mentioned earlier, like how he used to be, he's not changing, except me for who I am. That's impossible. You gotta do change, even if it's the slightest change. Mm -hmm. Because you enter in something where you've never shared something with this person. Yeah, before. you're sharing space. Yeah. So you you Literally. have to make some type of adjustment. It's because if you don't, then it's it, not gonna work. That's what they call the great Compromise, right? Not the was, not what, the other bullshit. What was you know the what word? Saying, but yeah, Daryl, you said we was talking about compromise. What was the other word? You said another c word. Cooperate. Yes, cooperate. Mm -hmm. I like cooperate. that shit. I, I have I, since then stopped using compromise. Yes, I have yeah. stopped using compromise though because he, like he said, when you say compromise, it means somebody losing out. Right. Cooperation means you working together. Right. I fucks yeah. with that. Yeah. I fucks with that. Yeah. I, I, I want to say true. this. Uh, See, I be listening. Though. I think. I, I think. <laughs> Real shit. I think it's important. Um. To know, cause uh, we we got one of the one one of our listeners say, you know, uh, Don is so rough. It's okay to be soft uh, in some areas. L listen, Hell, I want to I want to I want to address <laughs> that for us as men. Yeah. Um, a lot of there are a Excuse lot of black you. men that I know personally that on many different levels. We are soft. We soft with our family, our friends, our, our 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 lovers. You get what I'm saying? Our children. A lot of times when we are being soft, it's it's overlooked. It's not appreciated. Now I'm not saying that I'm gonna let that stop because I listen. I'm a, a, a softy and a sucker when it comes to my children. But here's my deal. Sometimes women, you got to understand this. Uh, men and women are wired differently. I'm not going to always say things in a soft tone. Why? I'm a man. That's just it. I'm not trying to say it in a soft tone. You understand what I'm saying? But that that does not take away from the fact that I still love you and I still care about you. And and I was telling somebody this a long time ago uh, when I learned it. Uh, conversation is not about the words that we use. It's about the frequency. All right. And at the end of the day, as a man, I have a different fucking frequency than a woman does. A lot of women oftentimes say, well, you know, you said this, but it was your tone or it was the way you said it. I bet it was because I'm a fucking man. I'm not a woman. I don't, I, that's it. A lot of stop using that as an excuse to not hear us out, to not listen to us. At the end of the day, we wire different. We talk different. The frequency that I have as a man, my energy, because I believe that we are beings of energy. This shit is different. But that does not mean for one minute that, you know what I'm saying, that you can't listen to me or, you know, maybe I'm not being soft about it. No, stop that. Stop using that shit as an excuse. A lot of women oftentimes want us to cater to their fucking ego. And at the end of the day, that's just not how life fucking work. <clears throat> you know, I, I I watch sometimes and I see this with parents. You will, you will have... A father say something to their children, and then a, a mother come right behind that father. Oh, he he's so mean when he said it. He's so hard, and he's so rough on you. Man, fuck all of that. I'm a man. So it's not about me being mean. It's not about me being rough on you. It's about I don't talk like you. When I speak, there's a certain frequency that comes with the energy that I have as a man. And we need to stop always trying to tone us the fuck down just to accommodate your fucking ego. I think I think we living in a fucking era where there's too much of that shit, and we gotta stop yeah. that shit. I ain't I ain't 
uh, um, um, going along with that shit. Yeah, it's just as, that it, simple. as it should be. Like my old man voice used to thunder in the crib. Like it's just what it is. Like it might I, scare the shit out. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't expect it to be soft or timid and shit. I mean. Obviously, it's a fine line between, like, you know what I'm saying, beating a motherfucking kid up and shit or beating a bitch up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I don't expect, like, I don't expect to, to have to timid right. the shit down to, to like, I ain't going to say to appease, but just to, to come off as less aggressive. Like, I mean, damn, it's a double-edged sword. If you're trying to come off being less aggressive, then a, then a chick go call you a bitch. Like, bro, you can't motherfucking win. So I'm mad yeah. about this shit. I can't say nothing about it. You're you a bitch. Like, bro, look. Like, that's why... Ah, oh, damn, I, was, I ain't going to say that no, shit. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Stop. You know say, what I was going to say? Say it. Say it. That's why you bitches out here with all these bitches. Say it. That's what the fucking problem is. I ain't got no problem with that shit. Say it. I got a problem with that shit, but I'm just saying. That's why a lot of these bitches with all these bitches. I, yeah. Anyway. Y'all don't, don't know what y'all want. We don't know what, what we want, nigga. Shit just fucked up. We trying to meet somewhere in the middle and shit, though. I, I don't know. Well, um, <laughs> trying to figure that shit out. But, but Don, you had a point. I think people do be caught up in their own ego. <laughs> when you said that, I mean as fuck. <laughs> I, he, I don't think he mean. I think he just, I think he mean what he say. Facts. Um, as you should. It, at this point, I think men has been demasculated so much. Did I say, did I say the word? Emasculated. Emasculated. Emasculated so much. We all see what the fuck yeah. I'm talking about. For sure. Say sure. the word of burning back. Them some of bitches know what I'm saying. Some bitches. Um, you know, that we've been emasculated so much to where it's just hard for when we speak up, it's like, oh, he yelling at us. They yelling at us. It's like, no motherfucker. Uh, um, Lauren Hill said it. I said the word motherfucker so you ignorant niggas can hear me. Yeah, so a lot sure. of times we gotta yell loud enough so y'all can at least hear us. Yeah. Um, and and it's not about we're not again we're not um, down in women and nothing, but we just say we just up in men because a lot of times we get we get looked down or we get oh shit oh shit uh -oh. okay that was, that was uh -oh. the bitches on bitches statement dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -oh. call, call, hold on, call you on the air. Hi, Stella. Hey. So I want to call in. I want to talk about the subject, but I also want to um, add something, if I could, to what Don just said. Sure. sure. Um, because I, you know, I felt just listening to him as a woman, like he said, you know, men have a different tone. They have a different frequency than women. We are a little bit more softer. You know, we should be a little bit more softer. Yeah. However, yeah. however, just, just hear what I'm saying. I know that you may think differently or feel differently. But hear what I'm saying. The way that you would talk to a man and the way that you would talk to maybe even a woman that you don't have as much respect for. When you're talking, and I'm just talking about strengthening a relationship or your relationship personally. When you're talking to the woman, and this goes for women too, it's not one-sided. When we're talking to the person that we love, when we're talking to the person that we honor and we respect, um, sometimes we have to learn how to adjust some of the things that we do. Um, if my husband, I'm not married, but if I had a husband, um, I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate if my tone was what he perceived as disrespectful or dishonorable to him. You know, eventually he would tell me, oh, it's something that's like scratching really bad. I don't know. Um, I, don't I don't know. We don't hear it. Yeah. So it's, um, eventually he would tell me, you know, hey, who you, you know, I'm just giving an example um i'm sure eventually he would say wait a minute who you think you're talking to i'm a man you know you don't talk to me like that it's the same with a woman you know the way that you address or you handle situations out in society out in public you may have to have certain demeanors but when you talk to your woman or when you talk to again the woman that you love Sometimes you have to adjust your voice just a little bit. It's not saying that you're a punk A nigga. It's not saying that you know, you know, you don't you don't wear the pants or you're not the head of the household. But sometimes, you know, you cannot have to be so rough. You know, 
the edges, you know, just knock the edges off a little bit, you know, learn how to communicate yeah, where your that, point yeah. is taken, your point is taken, mm -hmm. you know, um, I, and she can perceive or she can receive what you're saying. I, I I'm wanna, not saying change who you are as a man, mm -hmm. but like when I, when I was listening, I'm just telling you how I felt. That's why I made the comment. Now, I, I when I was that. listening to you guys talk, let me just finish. Yeah, go, when go for I was it. listening to that. you guys talk, uh-uh, you're okay. When I was listening to you talk, I was almost like clutching, clutching my pearls that I didn't have on. Like, whoa, you know, okay, breathe. It's okay. You know, I want to give you a hug. It's 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 going to be okay. Um, It can be, a if I was in a relationship like that, it can be also abusive. And then we have to also be mindful of the women that we are engaging with, as well as men. I don't want to leave them out. You never know what they've been through in their life and what abuses they have had to encounter, like you guys were talking about earlier about the trauma. That can send them back in a, a tailspin. So you, you want to always just be mindful of when you're trying to build your relationship, not putting everybody in the same pot. You know, but this man or this woman is special, so I have to come at them different than I did the woman or the man before. So, you know, that's all I wanted to say about that. Appreciate that. Uh, I think that. But I, I think. Go ahead. Can, can I just make one more comment? I'm Absolutely. Hang up and down. Absolutely. Go. go ahead. So but the, some of the things that I would do to strengthen my relationship, um, I think I would um, make it a point to make sure that we become the best of friends. Um, I would um, probably try to stay more connected, you know, to him um, and connected to the things that dear to his heart or he hold close to his heart. Um, I would make sure that I celebrate him on every level. I think I would um, learn. I think for me, most importantly, is I will learn to fight fair. You know, um, sometimes we don't fight fair in relationships. We hit below the belt, you know, at times where it's not needed. Um, we bring up stuff that we've already resolved into a future, you know, disagreements. That something may be about the toilet paper. Now you're talking about her mama or her daddy didn't didn't raise them well because they don't even know how to put the top on the, you know, the top, you know, the um, toothpaste. So I will learn how to fight, you know, fair. Um, and maybe just listen more carefully before responding, you know, and then repeating what I heard him say, you know, or tell him this is what, I, you know, tell me if I'm correct. Is this what you're saying before, um, how can I say it? Uh, they say listen to um, to understand versus listening yeah, to respond. Yeah, yeah, listen to understand first so, and then, be, and then uh, try to be understood. What's your name again? Carmen. Carmen. Now, I, I want to address something with you, and this is this is real important. And I think Dre talked about this earlier when we when we talk about listening. I want to make myself very clear. It's a, it's our men on this show. The banter that we have between us, that's that's real masculine energy. And I wanna I wanna I wanna speak on the difference between how you heard it. Here's the deal. Uh, a lot of young boys nowadays, one of the reasons why they <clears throat> get into so much trouble and, and so many young black men are killing one another is because they don't know how to deal with true masculine energy when other men come at them and talk. So what I, what I want to say to you is you are absolutely correct, and I 100% agree with you. When I'm talking to my children, yes, I'm going to soften my tone. When I'm talking to someone that I love, Yes, I'm going to use discernment and soften my tone because I want to be able to, as Q said, to relate to her and to reach her. Make no mistake about it. I agree with you on that. The point that I was making, which is why I specifically said as men, when we discipline our children, is when women come behind us and undermine our authority by saying, oh, wait a minute, he's being too masculine in this instance. Mm, and right. hear me when I say that it, that is a very, very distinct difference. I fully understand I'm not about to speak to a woman who, who with, uh, whom I care about in this rough tone and demeanor 
She's not a man on the street. I'm trying. I want to make love to her when 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 we finish our conversation. <laughs> I, I want to kiss on her, nibble on a few parts, body parts. I'm not about to speak to her in a certain tone, but I wanna I wanna address, like I wanna I wanna address the fact. <laughs> and this is important. All right. I wanna address how a lot of women. It's okay for a woman to express herself sometimes when she gets angry or frustrated, mm -hmm. but the minute we do, it turns into, wait a minute, right. you're being abusive, you're yep. being this. No, this is not me being abusive, I'm just being who I am. I'm and, see, and, that's, and, and that's the issue. And see, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the main thing is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ms. Carmen, thank you for calling in. I want you to listen to the rest of the show. Thank the you. One thing, All right, for sure. Go the ahead. one thing and shit I want to say is, you know, like you just said, everybody want to jump down men, you know what I'm saying? Like men, our throat. like our throat when we assert ourselves, right? But when black women assert themselves, I mean, I didn't been somewhere everywhere. I didn't grew up around this shit where a black woman and shit would sit up there and tell, say, a black male, like a, a younger little boy, little girl. Go sit your motherfucking ass down. Yeah, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Any kind all of kind of any, any kind of way. Ignorant ass ways, but it's like y'all be so disrespectful to a young boy. Yeah. A little girl and a grown and man. Then, yeah. And a grown man. Like, like look. Your dick ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit. Your mama ain't, ain't shit. shit. Right. right. Your friends ain't, ain't shit. Your friends ain't shit. shit. <laughs> but then the shit. Hey. You broke in a motherfucker. You broke in a motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we hear all this shit and nobody can check you on that shit. But then that shit, as soon as a black male mm. say, no, nah, I'm, I'm a solid answer. black male. Right. Check this out here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <it's> right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 You need to understand. You abusive. Now you're abusive. Yeah, now you're abusive. Because I tell you to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? What Get the I, fuck up from around me. Because like you want some this. bullshit? I, would, I do what I, I would like to say this. And this is the sad part. Y'all ain't going to like me after this. Um, <laughs> we fuck up by picking the wrong person to be with. Oh, I, 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 I That's both sides. That's both sides. That's both sides. Women mean, pick the wrong men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and men pick the wrong women. But, but, That's true. I mean, but when it comes to us, like I, I, I honestly say, the men that at the table are intellectual people. You know what I mean? I, I, I know y'all for quite some time. Joe is the youngest one to the bunch, but at the same time, um, I just believe we. We add on to our problems by knowing with pit. Sometimes we, men, we be wanting that feisty shit sometimes, and they come back triple fold, and we be like, oh shit, I ain't wanted to go that goddamn far. You know what I mean? We want our women to be like, okay, then we'll say something. You know, like, that's it, bitch. Go ahead. We don't say shit. I like that shit. <laughs> until you over that shit. It, until, right, right. And then, like, like this shit the fuck Look at that crazy turtle over here. He look, he's agreeing 100%. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, because, but at the same time, we, we are responsible for. Picking, picking the wrong things about who we gonna share the rest of our life with. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with you one hundred percent. We do, we do go into picking the wrong women sometimes because I've done it myself. Glad I chose Trust right. me, I've done it a few times over. Yeah, but and for we sure, don't, we don't, we don't go into. I, I'm the type of motherfucker. I don't, I don't like none of this. That mouth. Yeah. I can't stand that. I shit. love mouth. Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> my, my mouth do. My, <laughs> hey, look, you <laughs> think about what kind of mouth are you talking like about? So look, so look, but listen. So, this, this is a real question, Dre. Not, not to cut you off. <laughs> Could it be though? And I've and I've had this theory for a long time, and maybe you guys can can share some insight on this. A lot of us. In some ways, do pick women like our mothers. We probably who, do. Who You're have been right. very combative and a lot of other shit. I so agree. now we see that and we equate it with the love. 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 No, yeah. we But then we in that relationship with him and yeah. we like, what the fuck? Hold yeah. on. Now and this I'm ain't. And I'm going to tell you what the fuck that be piffed me and that's is. That's fucked though. up. The fuck that be piffed me is picking at somebody that's like your mom and then realizing, like, your mama, mama was my mom. Your mama was that great. That's my mama was fucked up. Let me up. tell you. Let like, me tell yeah. you what I learned. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, based off what you just said. Yeah. 
My daddy, that motherfucker wasn't around. Him and my mama got in the fight. She was a drunk motherfucker. He wasn't in the picture, whatever, just that. My brothers, I'm the youngest of four kids, mm-hmm. all boys. So my brothers and them experienced them for a minute. I ain't never experienced that nigga. He, I, I'm the man who took care of him in his last days, though, too. But that's another story. But to get to the point, I always thought, like, okay, mm-hmm. you know, my, he was on the bullshit, he, which he might have been. been. But it made me see shit now as you get older, yes. you look like, okay, wait a minute. The, the, you know like, what I'm saying? Why the fuck was, was, on, been, was on the bullshit? He might have been yeah. on the bullshit for this reason. Yeah. And, and my experience is dealing with my kids' mothers. Mm-hmm. I see, because sometimes... Sometimes you be sometimes as a man, you should always take care of your kids if you got kids. I, yeah, no, yeah, no, let me course, get that statement. For sure. Regardless to whatever the, re, the relationship is between, between you and the mother, mother, always take care of your father, children. Yeah. But I can see why dudes get the fuck on. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like no you, bullshit though, well, because you you because if you if you dealing with all that, this bullshit on top of bullshit on top of bullshit on top of bullshit and you know it's not gonna change, you you your mind state is to either sit there take and continue it. deal with this shit and snap. Right. Oh, you say no, I'm about to just leave Mom's this. Just like, well, well, I, I would I would like to say this because as I grew as I was growing up, uh, I I definitely look at my father as an ain't shit type of dude, right? But my family adored my daddy. Mm-hmm. My daddy was the shit to them. Yeah. I went to a family reunion and they talking about this motherfucker. I'm like, that's how they do it. Like, who the fuck is this nigga? Right. And, they're like, and, they're like, and then they, they, they said, my uncle Miles. I'm like, shit. And then and then I realized I was so much like him. It was pathetic. Mm-hmm. I mean, Twitter, the young lady who I was with, she was like, they talking about you? I'm like, no, they talking about my daddy. But that's how you are. Well, I'm how like, you are. Really? I did not know. I mean, I'm so much like my father, Genetics. I did not know. Yeah. Right? And my mother wasn't the type of person that kept me away from him. I, I stayed on Washburn. I stayed on Washburn and Puritan. My daddy stayed on Ardmore and Puritan. Mm-hmm. Hey, so hood. I was like, we are I, hood. I, I, was, I, was less, I was less than two fucking miles away. Right. right? You feel me? Mm-hmm. But my daddy understood what type of person he was, so he decided to make sure I didn't get fall into that situation. Right. Yeah. And then, and, the, and my mother, when I went to my um, went to my family reunion, my my auntie was like, "Baby, your father just made sure you didn't fall into the bullshit that your the other kids in the Dixon family." And it could be from. he could mm-hmm. he could have moved he could have removed himself because he knew. It was affect. It would affect you worse yeah. than what it would have if he stayed. Man, listen. Yeah, here, here's, here's the honest to God truth. At the end of the day, we are grown and we know this. This a this a fact of life. When we go home and we in the room or we behind closed doors with whoever we with, yeah. our children, our friends, family, everybody don't see and know everything that go on in our motherfucking right. life. True. Right. And there are some instances Thanks. where at the end of the day. I didn't have some situations with my kids' mothers that my children will never know about. And mm-hmm. it ain't none of their business, to right. be honest with you. Right. Right. They might not have been truth. the best situations at the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you get what I'm saying? And from that, it caused some friction between us. It caused some division mm-hmm. within our household. So I just say that to say that that's why, that's why I said earlier, be kind when we're talking to one another because at the end of the day, we make genuinely feel like this person ain't shit because of A, B, and C. But truth be told, we may not always know the whole story. story. Right. A yep. lot of times we be getting half-assed information yep. from yep. the person that's truth. closest to that, us. Yeah, 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 this yeah. person right. was there. Yep. This person wasn't there. Then yep. all of a sudden, you get older. Like you said, Dre, mm-hmm. you, you start, wait a minute, hold on. I, I didn't kind of deal with some of this same similar shit. Right. And exactly. You can't Say this and do that and but, be manipulative in that way and use yeah. me as a fucking hey, look. Well, Don, uh, a, a fulcrum to get leverage for over some bullshit. Yeah. I, I would say this in the Bible, the Holy Quran, any book that is spiritual will have leadership or seek guidance. It said there's nothing new up under the sun. No. Mm-hmm. A piano only has a certain amount of notes. You know what I mean? Only so many combinations could be played on it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no no note has been untouched yet to this day, right? Right. I mean, hey, every note has been touched to this day. So we have to look at, like, everything is going to be, life is going to repeat itself. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything, nothing is going to change. It might change the name, you know what I mean? But 
how we get it, how we, how it happens is, is relatively the same. But we it's only thing it's only one thing we all have in common. We all have the same one thousand four hundred and forty minutes of a day. Yeah. We have, we all had we all had the exact same amount yeah. of time. Yeah. Hey, is this is this in your book, Miles? I, I just want to shame this book. Yeah, this is my, yeah, my, 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 new, my book, my new book coming out fourteen forty. Fourteen forty is coming out, but the, the truth is, we just have to, we have to really understand. Like our life, I mean, everybody. If we start to talk, we'd be like, "Me too, me too, me too, me too." Yeah, for sure, you know what yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and same thing with women. You put them in the room, they're like, "Me too, me too, me too," right? And then the re- the reality of it, I think we just don't have the discernment to really communicate properly to find the one that fits us the best because mm-hmm. we're so anxious on doing yeah. some other shit. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would yeah. say like this: an example would be and shit coming from this cast and shit. This ain't nothing but a cast of brothers right here. You know what I'm saying? And, I, sure. and I will say this: I will say this, ladies, just understand when y'all talking. You know what we hear? Absolutely fucking nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then with that, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what our reply is? Blow my balls. <laughs> my balls. Hey, 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 look, hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, and that can strengthen, hey, look, and that can strengthen a whole nation. If you was just blow our balls, do I drop? And I drop. Hey, the view, uh, the view of John Q is not that of the podcast. <laughs> the film crew of administration. Hey, look. Blow my balls. Blow my balls. Blow my balls. <laughs> I do want my balls, yeah. There you go. Blow my balls through my draw. I got I to gotta, I gotta do like, I got I to, gotta, you know, in honor of Chef. He not here because, you know, Chef sometimes like to recap. But, again, I think, Dre, you brought up a good point earlier about about listening, you know. Oh, you, listening, you, yeah. you You talked about, you know, being being relatable. Uh, Q, mm-hmm. take, take, take us to... to Again, what do you think is the most quintessential thing that we can strengthen our relationships with? The um, most quintessential. Way to tie us back in. I like that shit. But I think I think the most important part is to to know where. All right, so let me see how, how I want to word this. You got to meet the person that you with where they are, and then you got to understand where they are and you got to know yourself enough to know whether you are okay with being there right? mm-hmm. and what I mean by that is like what you were saying earlier um, being relatable yeah being relatable and shit so it's, it's kind of like the same thing but also once you're being relatable though you you, you still got to check yourself and make sure that yep. this is where you want to be yeah. like don't don't get stuck in a situation where um, you regret it and shit because I I, I fucking hate Facebook for this reason and shit. I, I love it for other reasons, but I hate it for, for this reason because people get on there and talk shit about their relationships, which is the dumbest shit ever. Like, I don't know why people yep. do that shit. But, like, what what I never understood is how the fuck you go always be complaining and you not making no action to either get make it better or get the fuck on. Like, what's the solution? Point? Yeah. Solution. Yeah, yeah, solution, yeah, based. solution so based. You complaining yeah. about the shit, what's the difference? So, mm-hmm. I think in order to strengthen you gotta you gotta know yourself first. I think that's the first thing. Like, you gotta mm-hmm. understand who you are and where you are. And to, to meet that person where the, where they are, whatever, if that means they, they've they been through some trauma and you're trying to help them through that, or you've been through some trauma and they're helping you out with that, right. meet them at that place and accept or don't accept, you know what I'm saying, the, the challenge and shit. Like, you got to make the decision, though. So many people get into relationships, marriages, or situationships or whatever, because it's cool for right now. You see the red flags, but, like, you get comfortable and shit. Like, I think that's the that's the most important thing. Don't get comfortable. Because mm-hmm. once you get comfortable, that shit is a wrap. But meeting somebody where they are, understanding where you are, and being comfortable with making that transition together is, is how you strengthen it. And then, yeah. obviously, the communication and shit go, you know, go hand in hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And communication is just like sex, though. Like, you can't, you can't Fuck the new bitch like you fucked the last one. Like your communi- yeah, you can't communicate right. with the That's new one like you communicate with the last one. Yeah. You gotta figure out where they at and adjust your communication styles right. accordingly and shit. And so term, it's all about adjuster. I guess. And, and the term yeah. bitch does is currently. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's just my. It's only the viewpoints of Quincy Lewis. Yeah, yeah, but anybody that know me know I use bitch. <laughs> no, I think listen that's in here. Listen, they call each other bitches. Look, yeah. look, so how look, you look, had that there up? There you go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not about to rant. Just call you a bitch. It's not just referring. 
you a bitch ass Like you say, niggas bitches too. The viewpoint is John. The viewpoint is John. You only go to straight shooting. No, listen. Good. That's a that's a beautiful point. I just want to add one. Everything you said was so eloquently put. I just want to add one one word to it because again, it stresses some. You said that you meet somebody where they are, mm-hmm. and then you got to, you know, take into account where you are. Exactly. Be honest with yourself when you take into account who you are. I had <laughs> oh, yeah, this. for yeah. sure. For yeah. sure. There, there was a, there was a, 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 a woman um, back in the day that uh, I was seeing, and um, she said something, and it kind of, uh, I always think back to this moment. Um, uh, I, she was very attractive. We hit it off. She she one day she's one day she said listen God one day it. one day she said to me she she asked me uh about a picture and she said you know uh, which one of these kids do you think is mine and i was like oh, okay maybe that one that one she was like okay uh just those two so later on i found out that she wasn't necessarily honest about it Actually, all the kids in the picture were hers. Mm-hmm. So when I asked her about it, she said, well, what man would want to be with me with, you know, and I have all these kids. And at mm-hmm. that moment, I, I felt sad for her. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. I was just like, damn. Her now, here's, the, here's, the, here's the deal. She got her own that shit. Honestly, yeah. in that moment, <clears throat> yes, I like you, mm-hmm. but I got my own kids and... I can't be what you probably need me to be. You get what I'm saying? And my thing is, uh, as I get older, that's kind of been this reoccurring thing with with just me, period. You know, and I think uh, as men, a lot of times we really do have to, when we do some self-evaluation, we have to be honest with ourselves. Yeah. Fuck who it's for. Right. Exactly. Like, it got We got to be honest with ourselves. Like, how do I feel right now? What place am I in? What mental state? And I, I just wanted to say something too earlier, and I think actually, Q, you said this, but... I had a moment in my life where, um, not too long ago, where I was at a very, very low moment, and I expressed to someone, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm feeling really depressed right now. I'm feeling really down. Mm-hmm. And uh, I need a moment to myself. That was not well received, yeah. And, yeah. It, and it hurt me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like when women do that and they need a moment, they need a moment. So, yeah. but once again, when, right. as men, when when we so, say, look, 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 Women would never understand what men go no, through. No, mm-hmm. and, and, and the reason why, like somebody had told me, black men need to stand up for their community, right? I said, well, the truth is the black family need to stand up because mm-hmm. every yeah. black man that stood up got shot down. Mm-hmm. You never heard of a black woman getting gunned down in the civil rights movements right. or nothing like that because that would have been a cowardly move. That would have been a cowardly move for the enemy, well, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but the gun down a black man, it, All it, the time. it, it was more yeah. like he was hunting. It's a statement. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's it's a the shit going on. Community shit. Uh, 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 like, uh, 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 even your uh, strongest, uh, uh, fuck uh, your strongest. Yeah, that's right, what, that's right, what the that, statement is. That's what the statement mm-hmm. is. In other races and cultures, you never know who the leader is. They hide their leaders. Their right. leaders is not to be found. Just like in the beehive, you don't know who the queen bee is because she is hitting. You don't know who the queen Anne is because she's hidden. Everybody who's a leader, who's a leader in the family or a staple or whatever you're doing, they're hidden, and they're hidden for a reason. Because those hold the treasures and those hold the jewels of that particular tribe or group of people. Mm-hmm. We have to understand that. And so when the, and when when women are in place, the women will pull the pull that portion out of a man, and the man will show who he is, and he get gunned down, whether it's emotionally, spiritually financially, whatever it may be, but he get gunned down. Because when a man is put when a man is put on a pedestal and then all of a sudden you try to snatch his manhood from him. Mm-hmm. Every he he's now being attacked from every side angle, whether it's mother in law, cousin, uncle, their own child. You feel me? But the mother but and, the mother stayed but the mother is shielded. And I just wanna to touch on what you're talking about, Doc. And something you just said too, Don. If women what you need to understand, and this is, I'm just telling I knew you from, you a, for that from, from, a, from a man's <laughs> point of view, when you, when 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 a man man barely comes to a woman and expresses his feelings 
his uh his issues that strength his pain to that strength but, so but yeah you're right that so that's strength. so it's a lot of times so, so so when we come and do that <laughs> when we come and do that you gotta listen because it's rare we do that right and if you don't listen we'll never do it again yeah, right. we'll never do it that's again right there that's because, it right there yeah. because if, if, if you don't hear it this time yeah we're well, gonna take into to account you. that i sit here and listen to every gripe you have yeah. Every emotion you go through, every issue you have, every problem, every you have. sentiment, right? And this one time, I'm weak. I can't come to you and express myself and tell you what I'm going through as a black man, and you do not accept it. I never do it again. And, and you know what's sad about that? It's sad that it's like that because we need that. You're right. We and, need and, it, and, and we need it to the point to where. And, and, Y'all gonna hate me for this again. Um, I mean, we had you last time. You was on point last time. But, but, but no, but, but, but the, tr the truth is, the fact that black men, yes, I'm agree. I'm gonna say this. We are needy, but we are needy for a reason. We not needy in a weak manner. We, we needy for that nurturing right, shit. That right. mm. We needy. That's for, it. We right. need. We need. We, need, we, we are and needy for for reinsurance, reinforcement, that support, that's that's it. It. support. That, exactly. We are needy for that part. That's right? it. And I, one time, I don't. I don't know. I tell the story all the time. One time, I posted on Facebook. I said, "Where do Superman go when he need when he is weak and he needs help?" Right? Everybody was saying, Jesus, look at the children. Hey, well, you know, can't say Superman and shit with, 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 with the sun and shit being uh, that, 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 <laughs> Never mind that part. But what I'm saying Because that motherfucker might go and shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah, in a whole nother different alley. Yeah, but. but and be asked for something different the, than what you going to ask but for. But, but the thing is, <laughs> the, 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 but the thing is, and the sad part is, no one, no one ever said, call me. Yeah, right. true. See, because the the answer to a lot of people's situations might might be as simple as a fucking phone call. Yeah. Could be. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. And, and, no, we, and when it's as simple as a phone call, that shit hurt when you don't get that call. Man. Yeah. I, I, I cannot. Man. I, I can't, talk to me, dog. I cannot even. Hey, man. I can't even imagine how many, how many. I can't even imagine how many times Robin Williams was waiting to hear a phone call. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He'd been crying out for help for years. Yeah. He, he was waiting for one phone call to come through and somebody didn't call. And and, and another thing is, like, we we're, we're meant we supposed to be the pillar of strength. Yeah. yeah. Which in a certain case in certain relationships we are. But it sometimes it it wanes on you. Yeah. So when you got like say for instance, I take myself for instance. I, I I never get a call saying how you doing, how you feeling. My kids is always daddy. I need this. Hey nigga, my, I call your my, monkey. I ass. mean, but but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> my mother is always I need you nah, to do I this. Know. My mm -hmm. wife is I need you to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's never I get that call like how you doing today, how you feeling. It's always I need, I that need, check, I need. emotional check in. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. It's always yeah. I need, I need. I got to be strong for every motherfucking yeah. body else. Yeah. So you don't think in your mind, like, to a certain extent, that starts weighing on your mind. That's, that's, that's sure. a Superman mentality. It remember, is. Remember, remember yeah. I don't know if y'all remember one Superman um, movie. He had a choice to either save one person or save a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And he chose to save a lot of people. Right. And I think that no matter what, that still weighs heavy no matter what we yeah. do and decisions that we make. You know yeah. what I mean? Whether we be there for the kids, but our mama need us. Yeah. Whether we be there for our mama and our kids. Kids need us. Need you. So it, it weighs a whole lot. And You know I, why? I think, hold on, wait a minute. I think a lot of women don't understand um, that men, the compromising that men do with the weight. You feel me? Men would say, "Okay, fuck it, I do it all, and we'll there get crushed." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're building a crush. Your body, body be fucked up. Everything. Yeah. All type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Be and, up. And, they, and they don't see that part. They just like, "Well, nigga, you'll be okay." Yeah. yeah. Yep. And the truth of the matter is, we won't. Yep. yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Said, that's, yeah. that's all I was gonna add. And shit, it was the only shit. thing I was gonna add is and shit is. We always feel naturally as a man that we can save the motherfucking world. world. But I'm gonna say like that: you in good shape, down in good shape, right? 
Not necessarily. You know, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to show you something. They were, if they look at y'all, they say y'all in good shape, right? They would look at me. My and, looks. But my look, but, yeah. but, but in in essence, they look at me and uh, Q is it's not like in good shape. Them niggas died. Them niggas died tomorrow. Them niggas died tomorrow. Especially all a bunch of skinny motherfuckers and shit. Listen, I know a bunch of skinny motherfuckers and shit. Joe gonna live forever. Look at him. That's, 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 hey, look. That's, 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 that's Martin Luther King gonna live forever. This is Joe right here. That motherfucker right there. So, so, so what you're saying is shit. Though. You know what no, I'm saying when it comes I, I, to that but, shit. Yeah, I'm, talking about, no. per, I'm talking about perception. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So when you look at perception, a lot of times it always based the the perception is based off a of preference on which a, on which a person believes better for them. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. So in essence, we would look like we so strong, and me and Q need to just say fuck it and lose weight and get fit. Right. Mm-hmm. But they don't know. Maybe emotionally, y'all might be so broken to where y'all nowhere near as me and Q. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You feel me? Just right. the perception. No, yeah. stress. Right. Hey, look, stress don't have no motherfucking weight size, nigga. Right. Yeah, stress sure. find a weight size and it and it don't and mind. It don't discriminate, nigga. And it don't discriminate. It don't. It don't, it don't, it don't mind. And it don't mind fucking over the whole family. <laughs> and and and, right. and I, and I want to speak on that too. And that's the. <clears throat> That's the flip side to sometimes uh, making assumptions. Right. Mm-hmm. People sometimes in the past, and I'm just using my own personal experience <clears throat> in relationships. I've had I've had women say to me, "Well, you know, you feel uh, you sound like you're well spoken, this and that." Guess what? I'm still struggling with some of these things as well. Right. Don't do not put me on because what has happened is. At different times where I have not lived up to their expectations of who they think I should be, mm-hmm. now they extra mad at me. Yep, right. Fuck you, yeah. you ain't shit. Wait a yep, minute. Exactly. I got my flaws fucking exactly. too. Don't get it twisted. Yep. Don't put me on that fucking pedestal yep. to where I can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I have hey, to be man, perfect. Trying to fit into their expectations. Not case. Yeah, Look, the That's even fact, playing though. field and shit for all of us is called life. Well, that, for sure. But I want to say this, Don. I told somebody like this before. You do my pedestal, right? I said, "Don't put me on the pedestal to where you can't reach me and help me." Because yeah. if you cannot reach me on the pedestal that you put me in, it don't make no sense for me to be there. Because at, cer- at a certain point, I'm gonna get weak. Everything, everything has an expiration date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything in life that's good is free. And we don't expect. So and, guess what? Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, we don't need, but we don't expect. We don't respect free shit. We don't expect the air that we breathe. Right. We don't. We don't respect the body that we in until it's too fucking late. Mm. Right. Our lungs, our eyes, and all the shit is free. But until the shit start going bad, is when we start caring. Yeah. So look, what I'm gonna tell you and shit, just so I told you earlier and shit, Doc. And this shit applies to all y'all, and y'all know this shit. As far as my con- my uh, contribution, uh, contribution and nah, shit, my you solution and drunk. shit. Go you ahead. know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this? Stupid. <laughs> 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 hey, look, my, my, and look, my solution. And look, my solution is this. I tell anybody and shit. If I love you and I care for you and shit, just come work out with me. Mm. Mm. I'm going to change your lot. I'm going to change your life. Yeah. All right. Period. And it's for the utmost. And it's a masculine because, period. You know, look. Just, <laughs> because and shit. You know what I'm saying? That is that is that is that is my that's my imprint and shit on me. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And not only that and shit. Whatever I teach you, when you come fuck with me, I want you to teach your kids or whoever and shit. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm telling all of y'all and whoever is listening, come fuck with me. But he, you sure. know what? And he right though. But I'm gonna tell you something because even with, because you know for a fact, you tell motherfuckers come fuck with you, motherfuckers don't come. I, I tell motherfuckers I ain't the greatest nigga in shape. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in a lot of shape. I'm in more shape than the rest of you motherfuckers except him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> him. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, I tell motherfuckers all the time to come to the gym with me. <laughs> but they they got they come with excuses, they come with excuses, say everything. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, it's a mental block. Mm-hmm. So and you can't and I don't I used to, I don't even get mad at people no more. Because people be so occupied with what their life, yeah. their real life and they re, they're used to the routine, they don't know how to get out of it. 
So it's like, you know, you 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 run. It's this, it's rinse, wash, rinse, and repeat every day. And this right. is what you do. Cycle. And you and you come you come norm to that. And it's hard for people to break their cycle. Right. And that's why us as a black community, we we die off so quick to diseases and things like that because we prone to seeing what we what, what's in our neighborhood. Like mm-hmm. if you look at all the the fast food restaurants, they cater to us. Yeah. Most of them commercials got black people in them and this and that. They feeding us all this bullshit, this negative bullshit. You come tell a motherfucker like, look, dog, no, get you a bre- chicken breast, mm-hmm. throw you a salad behind it and eat that. They gonna look at you like dog. That ain't, ain't no fuck fucking that. food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's crazy. That's Our girl nigga. just commented. Uh, Kenya just checked in. She said basically the same thing you just said. She said city life can play a big part. Uh, the lifestyle, how we were raised, how we treat each other, the things we do and say to one another, all of that shit. Yeah. 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 So, look, so look, I'm gonna put out a motherfucking challenge and shit oh, to anybody shit. that watch motherfucking girth and motherfucking watch straight shooting. I got a gym and shit that I train at and shit all day. You ain't got to get no membership, none of that shit, right? Come holler at me and shit. I, I'll take care of you and shit, you know what I'm saying? At least two days out of the motherfucking week mm-hmm. on some motherfucking goddamn uh, 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 boot camp shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that boot camp look, shit. Boot camp yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Boot camp yeah. shit. I'm with that boot camp. <laughs> look, 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 look. What, what is today? The 18th? Mm-hmm. Look, from here to the motherfucking... Uh, end of this year. Today the nineteenth. Look, today the nineteenth, right? Well, we got about six it's more, drunk. about six, seven, <laughs> right. eight more weeks yeah, and right. shit until uh, uh, until the year is over. I don't know. Look, it is the my pledge, my, my pledge and shit. You know what I'm saying? To more, you know, to better health and all that kind of shit. Come holler at me, hmm. Jim right. Animal Muscle Gang. You know what I'm saying? I train out of motherfuckers to find fitness and shit. You know what I'm saying? We pair it up. You I, know I what I'm saying? I'm, all I'm gonna tell you is. Come holla at me. You know I, I'm wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna I want piggy- everybody to live. Fuck that. This was Check it out. I want to piggyback on Let's what, what uh, Miles said earlier too, and 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 with that, and because I think some things have a domino effect. I I, I believe that um you know getting yourself, uh, it, it takes a certain mindset to to you know want to transform whatever it is that you want in your life. But I will say this, and Miles, you said it earlier. Um, it's also very, very important that in the meantime and in between time, if you haven't made that choice or that decision to get in the gym, fuck that. Don't sleep on getting yourself together emotionally and mentally. A yeah. lot of us, we mm-hmm. really got to get that shit in check yeah. because mm-hmm. here's the deal. At the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck how strong you are. You, if you got a weak heart or a weak Ooh. mind... You you still like right. fucking yeah, up. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I like I like I think the the thing that that Q because you know this, you know as you start to get yourself in shape, I'm some therapist. of these things start to fall into into right. place. Oh, I'm a yeah. right. all day. But, right. but so I you think gonna get again, the mental and the physical. Yeah. It's important ahead, for us all to know. And to be honest with you. One of the reasons why I even, you know, Miles, when, when you and Q went up, when I first started coming up here, uh, I went home and I uh, and I shared that. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm like, I enjoy some of the healthy conversations we have, some of the healthy debate, right. because at the end of the day, this shit is needed. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too many men don't get together, don't talk, especially in our community. You know what I'm saying? And we don't argue. Out there hurting. When we don't be arguing, we actually listen to each other, we communicate with each other, and even when the cameras go off and the right. powers Absolutely. go off, right. we, sit, we sit around and talk and communicate because it's important. I mean... A lot of men need that. Right. A lot of men need that. that. And, and, and a lot of times, right. like... You like get up and, 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 like, no, that's that fucking that rum this nigga. Yeah, he, 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 he was drinking rum with these fools. Oh, you know what I mean? And he drinking rum and whiskey. Right. This right. shit right here, I gotta pee like a motherfucking Russian. Go ahead, you do it off camera. Go ahead. Listen, um, listen. When we open the door, just uh, leave it open. Listen, Don. Before we get, we, we about to end this. Can you tell people where yeah, they can find you at, bro? Yeah, I'm oh, Don. I'm Don yeah, underscore snipes. Not, not, not fancy. Don underscore snipes. Hey, uh, if you if you want to come check out a uh, cool movie, October 29th, Dom's the movie. Dom. <laughs> 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 
We coming to support the shit. Come um, on now. Hey, 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 totally in a Jamaican voice, though. <laughs> Come yeah. to the movie now. Next two of the night, hell yeah. One, <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, okay. So, uh, and, uh, let's take it over to Piss Boy. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so you, so you, you got to be. Um, oh, yeah, I do. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me where they can find you at, uh, John Q. You can find me at shit. <laughs> And shit, man. I'm on Muscle Gang and shit on Instagram and Facebook, also and shit. Definitely and shit. You can find me and shit on Straight Shooting Podcast, um, on YouTube and Instagram and IG. All right, you go to the bathroom now. They go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Drake, oh yeah, man. Drake, Drake, tell me where they can find you at. Uh, before I shoot out where I can find me, I just want to touch on one quick thing Don said. Um, he is absolutely right. You know, we do need the physical part, the health part, and we do need the mental part. That's a lot. That's very important. And I preach to everybody, try to get out and meditate. If you right. don't know how to meditate, you can reach me and I'll explain to you how to meditate. Send me an inbox and everything. But your mental health is just as important as your physical health. For sure. You can reach me at um, Dola5 on Instagram, D-O-E-L-A, the number 5 on Instagram. Or you can reach me on Facebook under Dre Sanford. You can also visit Dresan Fashion, D-R-E-S-A-N Fashion on Instagram and Facebook. Check us out. Um, We're opening the store um, soon in the next couple weeks or so, downtown Detroit. Dope. Also... Yeah, Check out the Straight Shooting Podcast every Tuesday from eight to nine. Eight we'll to always nine. be there. Podcasting too. Giving y'all the facts of what you need to podcasting. Know. For sure. Uh, What's up? Congratulations, dog. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate Shout out to Q. Tell them where they can find you at. Y'all check me out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, man. Eblockradio.com on the Wake and Bake Show. Shout out to my dogs, Angry Man and Monk Money. Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Rise and Grind Show. Tuesday nights right here on Girth. Check me out on IG at Q. Lewis three one three. And of course, man, it's your boy. Q Lewis hold it down live for the four three five man. Yeah, it's on, baby. Gay, gay, bitch. <laughs> Anyway, check it out. Um, my name is Miles Dixon, M Dixon three one three on Instagram, Miles Dixon, the media preneur on Facebook. I like to thank everybody who's been checking out Girth since the birth of it. Uh for sure. It's gonna get deep. We got people coming in. We had, we actually got some people flying in from California just to be on Girth. Uh, I just got the email. Oh, that's dope. Uh, it's, okay. f- it's funny they just want to hang out with us for a whole day. I told them we got some shows that they could get a, be a part of from Tuesday to Thursday. Okay. Um, so listen, your grandmother, the kids went to bed. You wake their punk ass up and tell them get up, and so they can be up by six <laughs> o'clock to go to school. Um, <laughs> fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Hey y'all, I love y'all. And I and I'd like to give a special shout out to my, my firstborn baby girl, Aaron Williams. I know I know we, I know we are at, I know we are at odds, but I believe the universe will bring us back together soon enough. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. She's twenty she'll be twenty two years old today. Mm-hmm. Um that's my first biological bio, biological born. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, um, Aaron Williams is her name. Um, I love you. And on that note, we'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace out.